Hi, I'm Steve Rose from South Clwyd Beekeepers Association. Today I'd like to offer my views on applying oxalic acid to honeybees during the winter. We'll discuss why we do it, how it works, when it's best applied and how I apply it. First of all, why? Well, it's obviously a good idea to kill as many mites as you can before the spring. Um, they've overwintered in the colony, you've got large numbers in the spring, they'll build up very rapidly during the summer if you don't treat them. Um, so winter is an ideal time to do it. And with oxalic acid you can get a 95% kill rate if you time it properly and apply it properly. How it works? Well, oxalic acid, not only is it poisonous, but it's actually an acid. It will damage physically the, the mites' feet and their mouth parts. So once they're coated in oxalic acid in the winter, these parts will be damaged and they lose their grip on the bees and the bees can groom them off and they fall to the floor of the hive. And they're unable to get back onto the bee, especially if you've got a good deep gap below the floor of the hive. When it's applied, well the thing to remember with oxalic acid is that it can't reach the mites that are sealed in sealed brood cells. And the majority of the mites are usually in there. Uh, it kills quite efficiently the mites that are phoretic, which means the ones that are riding on the bees. So an ideal time in the winter to do it is when you're broodless, or if you've got a mild winter, when the bees are as broodless as they're going to get. And you can only judge this by looking in the hive in the early part of the winter before it gets too cold. And you can usually estimate when they would be broodless because you need to treat them when it's really cold. And it's not really a good idea to disturb them too much at that point. So having estimated when they're likely to be broodless, you wait for a nice cool day. So now we've gone on to when it's applied. You have a cool day. The, uh, the bees are in cluster usually perhaps 5 degrees C, something like that. Some strains want it even cooler, in fact. And they're probably, they're quite broodless. And you apply it then, it could be any part of the winter. I find early December, some people like to do it in January. It depends on your local climate and your local strain of bee. Right, the next thing to discuss is how to apply it. You used to be able to buy it as a commodity in, in powder form, or you could buy it ready mixed as liquid. Now there's an approved product called AP by Oxal, and it comes with full operating instructions. And because it's approved, that's the material we should now use, and we should follow the rules. Uh, so the rules are you mix it with water and sugar. You mix the sugar and water first. The ratio is 50-50 by weight. Once they're fully mixed and dissolved, uh, warm water makes it dissolve much better, by the way. Once it's dissolved, you add the oxalic acid powder. To do all this, of course, you need uh, to wear protective equipment. So remember to wear gloves, a mask and some eye protection, because you don't want any of these, this material in your face or on your hands. Once it's mixed and still warm, you can take it out to the apiary and you can apply it to the bees at the recommended rate. Now, the, um, the recommended rate is uh, 5 mils per full seam of bees. So half a seam takes um, 2.5 mils. And to get that dose rate right, it's, it's worth taking some sort of syringe with you. And this is the uh, uh, sort of device that most people use. This is a little uh, 5 mil syringe. So if you took this one, you might have to fill this two or three times during the process. So you'd have to have an open cup of warm api dioxide mixture with you uh, while you're doing the application. It's a little bit tedious, it takes a little bit longer than, uh, than taking, say, a larger syringe. This is a 10 mil syringe. Um, I think that's not a bad size to use. It's still small enough to control the dose and get the rate fairly accurate. The recommended syringe is this one. With this one, you would fill it to 50 mils. Now, the, rec the recommended dose rate says up to 50 mils per brood box. 
Now, to, to apply 50 mils to a brood box, you need 10 full seams of bees when in cluster, which to my mind is an impossible situation. There'd be so many bees in there, they couldn't break cluster. So I find I never use more than 15 or 20 mils. So a large syringe like this, I would only have it full to about that sort of point, and then it all becomes very inaccurate. So I've never favoured these large devices, and, and, and so I don't use those. But this is the sort of thing I like best. It's a cheap dosing syringe. It automatically refills, it's spring-loaded, and you can set the dose rate. I've got this one set at two and a half mils. So you, oper you operate it by pushing this trigger in, and you get two and a half mils out each time. So to do a full seam of bees, you would stop halfway, let it refill itself and do the second half. It only takes less than a second to refill. So it's quite a quick method of applying it. So a full seam would get two syringefuls and a half seam would get one. And a quarter of a seam would get less, of course. So once you've opened the hive, you can go zip, zip, zip through the seams with this and you've got the roof back on in, in less than a minute, I'd say. So it's quite quick and efficient and uh, you can do it so quickly that everything stays warm and the bees aren't exposed too much to the cold temperatures. Now, once you've finished all this, you must remember to, to dispose of any oxalic acid that's left. It's, it's, uh, it's poisonous and it doesn't keep for long anyway. You, you can't keep it till the next winter, so there's no point keeping it. So remember to dispose of all you, uh, you don't use uh, and then mix it afresh next year. The next thing to remember is you need to fill in a, a form uh, because it's, your bees are classed as food producing animals and all medicines applied to them need to be recorded. Um, so remember to do that part. And here I am in an apiary about to apply it to some real bees. I've chosen a cool day when the bees are in cluster and there is the roof off and the crown board about to be removed. There's a cluster, small cluster in the middle of the hive, typical of the bees in our region, and there's my applicator. The first uh, application was a full syringe full, that's two and a half milk, it's obviously a short frame, and for the longer seams, I stop part way and refill the syringe. And I'm going through all these seams, one by one, quite quickly, so it's very simple and fast. When I get to the end, it'll be a very short application because the seam is short there. Remember, I'm wearing gloves. And anyway, that's done. Crown board back on now. And here's the roof. And the job's done. The bees have been exposed for a minimum amount of time and I can move on to the next one. There you are. I hope you can see from this just how quick and simple it is. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a really good season ahead. Thank you.